Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So today's session is about installing MongoDB on Windows 7 or Windows 10. So let's start then. So let's go to MongoDB website that is mongodb.com. Now inside that you can go to software. So we have to install the server edition that is a community server edition of mongodb so just click on it so before that i want to show like uh, while installing the mongodb so if you are using windows operating system then uh, you can see for windows 7 4.2 community edition community and enterprise edition is supported but but 4.2 onwards they have discontinued support on the windows 7 for or windows 8 okay so we are going to download and install a 4.2 so that it will be a generic to windows 10 and windows 7 and windows 8 so let's go to this like a mongodb community server so select 4.2.8 version windows msi say download yeah, so it's saying thank you for downloading Windows MongoDB Community Server Edition. So this download is starts. So let's wait to complete the download. Yeah, so required installer is downloaded. So just double click on it. Say run. Yeah, so MongoDB 4.2.8 installer uh, setup wizard. So we'll just say next, accept the terms and conditions. Now you have to select the complete server configuration, like run service as a network service user by default, what it is. Say next. We, we, we can in, uh, install MongoDB Compose along with MongoDB installer but for now i have not selected this so just say next and just say install yeah so uh, so it's completed the uh, mongodb 4.2.8 installation so let's say finish now go to your c drive program files installation directory Yeah, so in the bin folder, you can able to see this uh, Mongo daemon is created. Now, so just register this into your uh, environmental variables. So go to your computer's environmental variables. Advanced system settings. environmental variables go to path edit this path at the end you can just paste it add it semicolon say ok ok say ok now yeah so one more setting i want to tell like uh, it might require or may not require for new version of uh, mongodb but for old version of mongodb it is required so it might require for new version also so we have to create this data folder data directory inside your c directory and inside your data directory this db directory uh, should be present so you have to create two directory one is the data inside the c drive and one is the db inside the data drive go to command line yeah so type your command mongod 
that is mongo daemon in order to start your mongo db as a service so mongo db server community server is starting up so you can see by default it is starting on the port 27017 so Meanwhile, it is starting, so you can start one more command line and from here just type mongo so you can see the mongo shell is 4.2.8 and it is now started so observe here so now what i am doing so show dbs show databases so you can see uh, these are the databases uh, yeah admin config and local so our installation is successful and uh, we can able to see these databases so you uh, so mongodb is ready for use now so now we can install mongodb compass in order to it's a gui tool in order to see your mongodb data representation yeah so for that go to again software then go to compass gui for mongodb so yeah so this is mongodb compass try it yeah so this is a mongodb compass so available downloads 1.21.2 this is the stable version so this is windows 7 plus then type package exe and say download to download this so this compass is uh, started downloading So MongoDB Compass installer is downloaded. So now we are going to install it. So just say double click on it. Say run. yeah so this compass is installed so you can able to see like uh, new connection is available so my previous connections are also listed here so just say full screen it to it now you have to connect this gui tool to your mongodb community server edition so for that what we can do so just go here this option fill in connection fields individually just click on it so it is saying host name is localhost so this you don't have to change anything so just say connect yeah so it's loading navigation now 
we have like uh, database names so this is this is the mongodb compass overview so so these are the by default databases like admin config and local so if we are going to check that then this is the databases so this is the local database collection name is a startup log so this is the one collection but is there so which is uh, showing the information about my machine like Dell PC and uh, start time command line object so this is the mongod config PID object and like that so this is the like collection and its fields so one more thing uh, we want to show so these uh, these these are by default databases so we can create the new databases also and uh, like it is showing the configuration like we have three databases and one collection so this is the collection the startup log so uh, so compass overview so in compass we can do lots of things like uh, this is like performance of charts so for our data we can see performance of the charts then uh, we can see this sidebar then uh, we can visualize our schema then uh, we can build the geo queries like geographical location queries like interactive document edit editor it is supported then visual explain plans so the query plans it explain then index management for searching of data then schema validation for validating your schema and its collections then input improved cut like uh, our uh, insert delete update operations and deployment awareness then query history these these kind of features is provided into the mongodb compass so let's say getting start so yeah so this way we can use compass in order to connect with our uh, mongodb server so in the subsequent session so we are going to create the databases and we are going to cre create the collections as well as document fields we are going to about check about that so yeah so that's it for this video thank you so much for uh, watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any queries so please leave it into comment box so i will happy to answer it so thanks a lot